Welcome to the Course Care self-training video series for Cengage Now, Creating a Course. This training video will demonstrate the process of manually creating a Cengage Now course, accessing your course key and distributing to students, and using the courses page. One of your first steps in getting started with Cengage Now is to build your course. To do so, navigate to the Courses tab. Once within the Courses tab, click on the orange Create a New Course button located on the right side of the page. Course creation is a two-step process. Begin by selecting the process through which you would like to create your course. You have three options. You may choose to build a course manually, copy an existing Cengage Now course, or import a course that has been exported from Cengage Now. In this video, we'll build a course manually. Select the radio button next to the process you would like to choose and click Continue. The course information page will open. All required fields on the page are indicated with a red asterisk. Begin by selecting the textbook upon which your Cengage Now course is based. Note that a Digital Product Student Will Buy field appears. This is an important piece of information because it determines what content your student should purchase to use the course. The significance of this digital product will be covered more fully later in the video. Begin by entering your course name. Optionally, you may enter your course number. Then use the calendar icons to select the course start date and course end date. Lastly, you may choose to provide a copy of your syllabus which your students can see when they view your course within Cengage Now. If your syllabus is available on an existing web page, select Link to this URL and enter the URL into the provided text field. To upload a Word or PDF version of your syllabus, select Link to this file and then browse for your syllabus file. Select None if you do not want to provide a copy of your syllabus within Cengage Now. When finished, select Create Course. At this point, your new course is created, but does not yet contain any assignments. Note the course key. This is important and we'll return to it in a moment. Before thinking about the course key though, you will likely want to add assignments to your course by clicking the Create an Assignment link or by working in the Assignments tab. Once you have those assignments created, you will want to let your students know how to enroll in your course and this means communicating the course key to your students. You may, however, no longer be on the page that displays the course key. Luckily, this information is easy to find. Click on your Courses tab, locate your course, and look in the Course and Section Key column. To aid in communicating the course key to students, Cengage Now gives you registration instructions. You may choose to print these instructions for handout distribution, email them to students, copy to a system clipboard, or download a PDF version. Note that these instructions describe purchase of an access code before entering the course and after entering the course. The best experience for your students is accessing the course first before purchase. This allows them to try before they buy and when they are ready to purchase, they will be directed to the correct product to purchase so that there are no instances of buying a product that does not fit the course. This buy the correct product functionality is enabled by what was shown earlier in the video, the association of the digital products students will buy. Thank you for viewing this training video. For additional resources, please visit the Cengage Now course care page. Resources include live and archived online training seminars, self-training videos, user documentation, 
and first day of class resources for students.